You're quite a horse. Visitors, keep moving. Fair enough. Not looking for trouble. Trouble's all you'll find here. Now move along.
Yeah! Hey, come here! Let's get out of here! To you. That's some kind of animal you got there. Thanks kindly. Make the most of it. To get a mite pecked. Visitors, keep moving. Fair enough. Not looking for trouble. Trouble's all you'll find here. Now move along.
¡Maldito hijo de perro! ¡Ya está ahí! ¡Por Dios! ¡Virgen Santa! ¡Stay quiet! Look at that. This one ain't work for you when I get out of this. You don't got any objections. What's in here? You're coming with me. Good girl. Let's go. my girl. Imbecile! Stay calm now. Might as well stop squirming. This is a real bad idea, friend. Untie me. Carajo! Fine, Philly. Good girl.
That's my bedtime. Hey there, pal. Can you help me? Could you use some help finding my way home? I can't make heads or tails of where I'm at. <laughs> I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Sure. Sure, just head over that way. You'll be all right. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Guess you had a good day, huh? <laughs> or maybe a bad one needs forgetting. I think I'll take a nice long nap when I get home. I think I've found it. My house is just over here. This must be it. Let me in, woman! Oh, you've been trying. 
Duncan, again? No. Oh. Well, you can go ahead and sleep it off outside. Oh, come on. This is a disgrace. Well, that was sad. What is wrong with this place? Morning, partner. <laughs> what now? Well, spit it out. What do you need? Can I get some food? So a man can't get a goddamn break in this town no more. Not a damn one. If it comes back up, don't come crying to me. Unbelievable. Just give me a drink, quick. Gotta say, appreciate the business you bring Should've here. Had that last one. Hey, hey, I got a question for you. I'm looking for a buddy of mine. Good fella, likes a whiskey now and again. Haven't seen him in a little while, and his wife's banging on my door saying he never came home. Can't explain it. He just lives across the road. Get me a bit worried. Give me anything you like. Here's that whiskey. Thank you. Hey, little fella. New to the shop? Well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. Well, let me know what you want. I'll bring it out. Good, good. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo.
Sheriff's gotten that for himself at one point. Great. That's all fixed then. Great. Thanks. Welcome, sir. You new patient? I only keep select items on the shelves. Gum and candies behind the shelf. And the medicine and tonics are on the table against the wall. See the catalog if you can't find what you're looking for. Let me just stock up on my supplies. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, mister. Yep. Good morning. Hey there, sir. Haven't seen you in here before. I'm sure you need a good meal after all the traveling you do. Why don't you grab some meat and cheese on my counter here? Now, let me just look in here. All right. Morning. Enjoy. Nice. Enjoy. Nice. Feller was telling me the daughter at Emerald Ranch don't leave the house no more. Been locked in up there for a couple years now. You like that? I'll let you look around some more. Thanks, partner. Giddy up! You got this, girl.
Transporting a fugitive. Let me out of here! I got a wife and kids! I won't ask you, Dan. Move okay, out of the way! Okay, Not looking to interfere. I said leave! Now get going! Up and keep still. I never robbed a thing in all my life. Come on. Oh, you're giving me a headache. Move it. Come on. Yeah! Ah. Oh. Oh. Now's our chance! Oh. Shoot! 
You okay, girl? Let's go. Okay, you're okay. Yeah,
By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Watch. Pistol. June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. That's the old watch. Now, the ledger and the pistol. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay. Where is all this old crap? Pa, 
God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just here looking for a few things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it. damn it! Come on, then! Where are you going? Come on! I'm gonna get you. That'll be the pistol. Just the ledger now. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Light's fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. <laughs> June 64. God. Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20.
There. Let's go, girl. They threw us away like a shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It's all... It's all going to hell. Old man. Old man? <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. Yes, my friend, to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this crap? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, you... They're for pissing off. No, what, what are you doing? That's that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist. Oh. Position for you. Here it is. Fork over what you got. You ain't getting no more warnings. All right, all right. All right, all right. Hands up. This will be. N I guess you got more cojones than I thought. <laughs> Green horns. <laughs> 
Easy. Calm yourself. We're fine, ain't we? There, there. Easy. It's all right. Easy, girl. Okay, okay. Get, girl. Skip. Go on. Leave me, girl. Yeah. Go on, girl. Easy now. One more time. Feel good? For you, miss. Best you behave yourself now. Me? Really? I don't know who you think I am, but no, sir. How do you do, sir? Partner? Hello. Fellas? How do you do? Greetings. Got some bills to pay, huh? Thanks, mister. Are you well? I cannot complain. Quite some poster, eh? If I looked like that, I would have pursued a more dishonest path myself. Feller is farming the swamp, or trying to, up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Fancy that. I seen him coming and going here, and I never had an inkling. Where you ship brained animal? Good evening. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Okay. And you? Well, only got the one leg. <laughs> Been standing here since about 1870 and uh, slowly starving to death. Oh, sorry I asked. Ah, don't worry about it. Hey, say you a Yankee? I'm not sure. 
You know, there was a fella I used to see with you a few years back. He was, he was tall and a moody face. Yeah, Arthur. He died, I'm afraid. Well, I'm sorry to hear it. He, he saved my life. Is that so? He didn't always seem the type. No. No, he didn't. Line up, Rhodes. Get your papers. Good evening, I friend. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon over back chat. Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all, big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But? No great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way did they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's in. Okay, thanks. <laughs>
Hello, girl.
Did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Oh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure and try to make this. Thank you. Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Cargo you bringing through here? Easy Move there. Through, boy. I'm trying to get these supplies to the here. federal building. It's all right you need. There. Here for your bounty. Oh, come to Mama Boy. Oh. It's like that. It? It's like that, is it? Get the boy out of here. Listen, is it okay if I rob you?
Johnson. Johnson. What? Just you're being real quiet back there. Those captured men, they beg, or they cry, or they rail against fate. You got nothing to say to you. Uh, okay. It's a little bit light for running. Oh, no, you don't. Damn you. Oh, Lord. I mean, it's tighter this time. How's that? There we go. Now, what was the point in all of that? Could have got your neck broke. <laughs> Prematurely. <laughs> Fine. Here we go. Be long till we're in robes. God damn. This is Rhodes. You're almost rid of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Moment of your time? Hell no. I'm pulling over. You hear me? Hold up! Good call. God damn it! The devil take you! Found this fella on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. You pass? Catches up with you. the price for Johnson. I didn't take it. Someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. I built a home out in godforsaken country. Land no one would want. I made amends, I promise. Everyone's got a sob story, Johnson. We'll be offering a price on another outlaw very soon. Check the station presently. Leaving me, huh? 
To. It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Uh, Come on. And I'll tall you, you lily living. Enough. Enough. Say, you two fools look like you've just run off from a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss! Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. I'll do your goddamn favor. What do you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! A new customer! Take a look around. Full range of stuff in here. Fresh produce, preserved produce, cheeses, meats. Thanks, partner. Get a move on, will ya? Hey, uh, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by you. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey! Move! I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? Oh, oh, get out of here. <laughs> now. No respect for your elders. I was minding my business. Hey, my to fix. <laughs> What the hell? It's a damn lawman. Come on, down. The law will handle this. For some real trouble? There's no need to take that shit. I got your back. Don't do this. Hold it right there. Keep this up and I'll... The next step is the I last one enough. you take. Ah. Enough of this shit. Crap. You're I'm coming with me. You. No, don't. Ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. No, We've had quite worse enough for of your kind here. Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. 
Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Anyway. How's your Tom? He's fine. Just fine. Marlene? Still with us. Have a fine day. Look like you got a problem with me, huh? You need a ride somewhere? I'm your man. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Was I not sufficiently clear with you, mister? I'm working, mister, and I can't work when I'm watched. Get out of here.
right, girl? Let's go. that off. Ain't no reason for an honest citizen to wear a mask. We know what we gotta do. Damn it, you move me down. You stop right now. This is the law. <laughs>
Afraid to be recognized, huh? Now, Gentlemen? why might Morning, that friend. be? Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. Do you? My pen name is Leslie Dupont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. I'm so proud. I still think about you all. That was... That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur... Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. And Dutch? <laughs> Ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Last call. Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. Thank you. Take care now. Bye! Seeing you. Good morning. You just left. You all right? Enjoy your destination. are okay, I guess. You stay blessed.
time you mosey on. Settle for me? Easy then. Relax now. Hey, partner. How do you do? Great town, this, huh? Oh, okay. Behind you, partner. Good day. Like you. Right here, folks. Papers. Somebody what you looking for? Papers. Great choice. Thanks. Have a great day. Well, hello. Hello there. Hey, watch it. Hello, mister. All right. Oh. Hey, mister. Mister. Hey, fella. Hi. Hello there, Miss. Greetings. Bastards! Hold up! Stop 
these bastards! Why do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> you okay, buddy? Oh. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. Huh. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here. Help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. Okay. What's the toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Huh? A toy boat? Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Oh, good for you. Ah! Waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, chante. Yes. Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. This ain't got nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. It is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make them nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, Imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey! It's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo! Got one! See? Yes, very well done! You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well. I'm not sure about that. There. All gone for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. 
This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Or he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of the dog. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what a thing to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey, you really all work on your salesmanship. Ah, Americans, all you think about is sales. Look who rules the seas. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. You avoid the mines, yes? That is what controls are for. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well... This is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. Uh, there, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> and I hope you will forgive my... Hey, uh, it's been some years, but a friend of mine helped the performers out up in Van Horn. He was meant to come see him here. All right. Well, uh, I'll let him know you're in. The curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show? Welcome, everyone. 
I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge this T. Abington. This is amazing. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place. Entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch. Presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for him wrong. Ooh. Our half-witted Hercules is as strong as a bull. <laughs> you, sir, would you assist? Me? Yeah, yeah. Come on up. Oh, yeah. There you go. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, lad. I want you to hit him. Right here, right in the bread basket. Go on, give him a real big suck. I don't know. Oh, the only do danger it. is breaking your arm. What are you afraid of? Ah, come, come on, on. do it, do it. Oh, all right. What kind of a two-bit show is this? Your freak nearly killed me. No, 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 I, Magnifico the Magnificent, am a master of apparition! Oh my god! And dissipation! And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration! <laughs> Oof! I have mastered Hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this What you doing, you nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! Not like that, you're not. I give up. <laughs> Amateurs. Go <laughs> oh, 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 oh. follow your brother. Well, that's our show. <laughs> Thanks, Anthony. <laughs> All ticket sales are final. <laughs> 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 Wow. 
Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement. But none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god, come on. Oh my god! What's going on here? Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That bit always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. What is he doing? Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang boulder dash. Ah. Oh, <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm ah. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my teeth. Is no one man enough? When's this going to be over? Come on, someone, stand up and take a shot. 
Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. <laughs> Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? <clears throat> Take aim. <laughs> and fire. Knock his teeth down. Gentlemen, death is just an illusion, after all. A feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He yeah. certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino! She's good with that fire!
it's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> Incredible. Bravo. Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies. She'd turn them into bacon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He liked that, Joe. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky! joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to Saint Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone, because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! Hello! I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning you will hear me yell. He central picks me up along the line. They connect me with my honey and I ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Hello. Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me tune. She is a siren singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night. Dream well and come back soon.
quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Uh, there's something here for you. Oh, thanks. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. Come on, folks. All aboard. Ma'am? Bonjour. Gotta enjoy oh, life while you can. Well then, the she president can't keep a house to save her life. Huh? I wouldn't stay for it. That's I right. Home and the potatoes aren't even for I tell her I work all day. You can't even boil the potatoes. There's my girl. Put your foot down. Bonjour, monsieur. See, I get home. I check everything. Every room, every shelf, everything. Yeah, uh, and would it be too much to come home to a poor drink once in a blue moon? Tell me, how are things?
You okay, mister? Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Or you need to drink this. In the mouth. It'll help. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Damn straight. I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. Uh, uh, out here. No more. Uh, just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? There, boy. That's a beautiful animal. Thank you. Look after it well. Bye now.
Enjoy the morning, mister. Morning. Hey, now. Okay, there. Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Real hungry here. I don't care what century it is, as long as I keep making a living. You be well now. Uh huh. Hey there. Good morning, sir. Somebody help me out. I was in the army. Partner. Good morning. Good morning. Easy. Morning, partner. So, how you doing? Going well, touch wood. <laughs> Chatterbox son of a bitch kept pestering me while I drank, so I knocked his teeth out. Ain't the first time. Someone's yeah. gonna Move! have to out. Watch yourself. Somebody, please. will be served in this town today. You took three right. innocent lives, and for that, the law demands that you shall pay with your own. No, no, please, God, no. please. Look where you go. Please, where you go. Do you have any last words before you meet your judgment? I wish I could kill them all over again. I love you, baby. Be good, son. Hey, 
<laughs> Good looking horse there. I'm happy to stable that for you. That's a good workhorse. Stays healthy. Don't have to fuss after it too much. Nice. You only live once, lest you're a cat. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Hey, it costs more for a reason. I got one of them myself. Nice. You only live once, lest you're a cat. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Hey, it costs more for a reason. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. Appreciate it. Always good to have one of those. It's all yours. I got one of them myself. All right, you bet. It's nice to give a little special grooming. That's fine looking. Yeah, grooming a horse sure makes it a beaut. That'll make your horse happy. say. Century and all, I think sure you're learning. That right. All right then. <laughs> Your wife gave me an earful about spending more time with the children.
mighty hard to relax That's with me waving a gun around. Okay. All right, I'm all right. Oh. Hello, sir. Waiting on the rank. Hey, mister. Trouble from you. One you hear? tree. A one bar. One redskin. I shot 19 of them once. Well, buffalo, no redskins. Don't know how many redskins are killed, but they deserved it. They weren't Christians, so I sent them to hell. They should have thanked me. All you fools should thank me. Look at this dumb donkey. What? You're nothing. You're less than the shit in my ass. Ain't no wild hey, west no more around here. You didn't see me? Hey. Nothing. Nice. More goddamn. I need some food. Can I get a meal? Goddamn shots. More goddamn prissy women in men's clothing and women in women's clothing thinking they must oh, be men. Oh, who's down? Damn well, troublemaker. She could skin a bear with her teeth. Oh, Only God. Look at you. Me? Hey, oh, fine. Take a whistle. See this one here? Got to keep that whistle with, huh? Here's a tip. Get them drunk and take their money. Tell me about it. <laughs> What's wrong with you, fool? Look at y'all. Give me something to drink. And it was goddamn men. Always worth having yeah, one for the road. Look at you. you ain't men. You ain't even women. You're... You're something. One more? You're revolting. <laughs> Just give me a drink. Revolted. Quick. I'm tempted to... Down, down the hatch. Just for the fact that they saw you. I wouldn't do you the dignity of pissing on you. None of you. Oh, God, I can't believe what this dump is coming to. Another? Give me anything you like. You come far today? Sure looks like it. Just give me a drink, quick. Got to keep that whistle wet, huh? you like all right take this one slow huh
Can I get a whiskey? Whiskey? Just give me a drink, quick. One beer. Get my own place in a year. Mark my words. Damn right. Man. Give me something to drink. Here. That's the bastard who brought hellfire down upon us. Oh, yeah? Beer, please. Go on then. Careful. Can you arrange a bath for me?
Never. Easy done. Partner? Hey, watch it. You're back quick, huh? Oh, you'll love it. Just right along the corridor. <laughs> Would you lack any assistance? Yeah, if, uh, sure, why not? Good, now don't you worry about a thing. Hope the water's hot enough. Don't think I can stay in here much longer. Goodbye now. for me. But that barber, I think he's about to snap. Watch your neck. Great. Thanks. Hey, watch yourself. All right, mister. That be still or be dead. Listen, this kind of thing don't end well. Time by me. Let's just walk away. What, you ain't caused enough harm here already? Now calm yourself! All right, calm down. Ain't no use in fighting now, mister. Got him banged to rights, son. We're taking you in. I'm timing now, damn it. Come on now. No need Stay to right do damn it. you. I'm giving you a final warning. Now stop. That's it. You're dead. Someone said go. You're crazy.
heck? Stay still and it'll hurt less. Jesus! No, please! Here we go. Time to go. You're coming with me. Help me. Somebody please help me. Good boy. Looking sharp. Get comfortable. for you. You crazy or something?